Hi guys, I am Jess from Ben and Ellie Baby and today I want to show you some pointers on using your change clutch. We know so many of you out there are really enjoying using our change clutch but we have had a few experiences recently which have given us cause to believe that maybe some of you are doing this wrong. So we're going to talk about that today because actually I do not think you guys are treating these rough enough. Um, these come across as the perfect, gorgeous, luxury little change clutch um, and they are there for style but they are also there for functionality. Um, so let me tell you, when we were designing these we were optimistic but we were not silly. These things pack a punch. So I just want to show you how to really throw this around and get the best out of it today um, while it looks completely beautiful. So we're going to focus on opening, filling it up, closing it up um, and just show you a few little things that you may not have seen before. First things first, opening it up one-handed open. This is really important. When you are on your way to change room or wherever you're going with baby, you the more than likely have probably got your arm in here and baby in the other hand. So when you throw the bag down on whatever surface you're going to be putting baby on, once you put that bag down, all you've got to do is just like slide your thumb under where the gap is between the magnets and flick it open. That's it. You can do this one-handed. And the, honestly, let me tell you, the, and then put baby down, the fuller it is, the easier it is. So do not worry that you've got it packed and stacked because no matter how packed and stacked this is, these magnets are going to be holding everything in. So like I said, you can just throw it down on the surface, put your thumb right under where the magnets are not, and give it a flick out. Okay, it's going to make your life a lot easier because then you're straight away putting baby down on something nice and clean and not worrying about the surface underneath. As far as filling it up, what's in the bag? You guys can fit so much more in this. Let me tell you, I have seen a few people use this just a change mat. Um, and you know, that's great if that's working for you. But honestly, fill her up. Um, right now today, like let's talk about what I've got in my bag because I'm heading out with uh, the kids. I have got three size four nappies. They're from Montana. I have got some uh, little wipes, cleansing things for the face. I have got nappy rash cream. I have got huh, a bunch of... Um, the rest of them uh, bags you know for when things get a bit full on and I've got my wipes pouch you know that 20 to 30 wipes is sort of going to fit in there really easily slipped into your front pocket so let's just take a look at that okay so that's what I've got in there so no matter what Montana throws at me today I'm pretty ready <clears throat> so that's my bag you can put heaps of stuff in there I could probably fit another little singlet or a onesie in there if you want to back up you know when you get there and what is actually going on is not what you expected it can sometimes be really helpful to you know have some clothes on you too anyway folding this back up if you want to like stack this thing full actually let's put another nappy in there let's do four size four nappies that's pretty decent actually I saw Julie fit seven newborn nappies into this once I mean that was basically witchcraft but you know she got it done up on the tighter setting so you, you fold this thing up when you fold it, okay, and you're heading out in the morning and you like stuff it full, it's okay. Use two hands, press it down, roll it. Like, there you go. This is what's gonna happen. That thing is chockers. So, you know, you can fill it up even more if you want to. I have seen people use this more as a bag. You can kind of release it and use it on the top magnet setting. Let me show you what I mean by that. There are three settings. On our magnets can you kind of see how that's much more at the top now so like I could fit I could fit so much more in there if I wanted to but if you want to make it look really nice and neat when you roll it to the top you know you can really pull that top over and bring it right down just so everything sort of looks a little bit neater closed whatever you know at the front so there's some different options there for when you're closing it up but you can fill her up don't be afraid to fill her up um, uh, and the final thing there is closing it up, which is what I was just saying then. You can either, you know, have the bag sort of really functional where, you know, you've just got the essentials in it. Like maybe we're going to, I'll just separate mine out, be a little bit more neat about it. I've got my nappy in each pocket, still got my wipes, still got all those accessories you saw. Um, so that when you're going out, you can actually, if you want to, roll this up one handed. Because that might be important depending on where you're going to only have to use one hand to get this open and to get it closed. So that's your other option. But if you want to absolutely make it chock as full, like kind of do a rolling motion, push that air out of it and lock her up. Those magnets are never going to let go, we promise you. So that's kind of what I wanted to show you today. Um, she's beautiful, but she's tough. So feel free to be a bit more rough with your Ben and Nelly baby clutch.